in okay. promenade, I did want your head back, but I needed your center to go back equally so that you were nice and tall. And we talked about, yes, your projection, your right side and left side were kind of directly through me and then indirectly this direction. But I felt that it was almost to the point that you were cur turning and got this elbow that was curved. I want you to feel that your left side also has an energy that's going out. So you pulled your center back and you took your left side and it went that direction for another energy. That one was really great. And then right here, number one key, relax the shoulders like last time. Center's back. Every time you did that, you were able to do this awesome pivot setup. Remember that this is not promenade with the head. Close position with the head. Ride the pivot. Just take your time. Full weight transfer. We don't want to try to get too quick on those. The syncopated side lock was obnoxious. You hold your head. It was great. You waited with me. Light hand here. Take the tension out of your left arm so that you're allowed to release and you can finish dancing your body. Keep this arm high. This part was lovely. Again, keep this arm high, but it was really those threes. Threes, we were so well-timed. Our centers were turning at the same time and the projections were great. Then we experimented with, after this turn, once you start to turn her here, going boom. Palms up, here I am. And then as your knees relax, allowing the arms to come in so that you could then go back to the twinkle and didn't just feel like you were stuck. So we opened up here, ja boom. Relax, and then back into the twinkle. And that was really nice. Chasse underarm turn, all of that was good. Uh, but once we got in parallel position, a little bit more support on this side, forward, forward on a curve, nose turns, and now don't look so far to the right and don't allow the head to fall to her side. You remember it was like over her shoulder. And that way, when you came here, you were so much more able to drive because you weren't off balance. Going to that second one. As you swing, swing away from your elbow. That was very good. Beanie's waltz. One, two, three. One, canter, turn towards her. Follow her as she turns and lower slightly. But stay on this leg. It's a hesitation for you while she canters. Then swing into it. Right hip, pulling forward. Pass your feet. Lower ring, enters. Finish. Up, lower ring, exits and pulls back. Keep the head here. Good. Box trot. Five, six, seven, eight. Collect a bit. Allow your body to turn more on these lines. Swiveling the feet, letting your body react. Up. Then when you go back down, she turns and we drop, kind of under your body, and that made a much more powerful explosion. We talked about the levels of height today. One's your lowest low. Five is your highest high. One is a drive. Five is when your feet are together and you're on your toes. Four would be on your toes but legs separated, so it's not quite as high. Three is you're just standing here. Two is your knees are soft but not at your lowest depth. I'm gonna start talking about these levels so that you know when we need to drop quicker. And when we went to here, it was like a three, and then we went down to a two, and, in, and then we went to the side at two. That will lower more for a one, so you can kind of see the application. The reason I bring it up, it's in Foxtrot, to be a little bit more uh, rhythmical than, or than lyrical like a waltz, Sometimes, depending upon the figures, particularly like four great lines and things, we're going to lower more quickly. We're going to slide out at a four, but we're going to get to a two quicker. 
then we can finish brushing and drive to a lower point of one. So um, that's something I want you to kind of start to think about. When we did our um, open left, right here, I had you lower a little quicker than you normally might. Five, head and center, pulling. Get to this foot. Six, make this a lunge. Don't think chasse like standard. Keep the outer circle away from her. Then you close her feet after she's done part of her turn. She's got that extra step. Now we dance through this. Test the waters. Wrong. Test the waters. Forward nose. Then turn. Impetus was great. Three. The third step. Always here. That makes your curved feather gorgeous. Hair pins are awesome. When you did the pivot, patience. Center back. You are able to change weight more quickly, take smaller steps for the quicks, but still ride the leg when you are here. 